getting ready for the big trip up north. We're stopping in, is it Harvey Bay or Hervey Bay? Harvey. Harvey, Harvey Bay. Um, <laughs> um, tonight, just a quick stop before we go to Agnes Waters the next day. We're meant to be leaving tomorrow, but we thought we may as well just get a head start. Um, so yeah, we've got the new hitch on after some dramas with our hitch, but this handyman over here fixed it for us. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're excited, we're keen. It's so hot right now though, it's like, oh, it's probably like 35 degrees maybe, I don't know. It feels like 50 degrees. <laughs> I haven't had full cream milk in a very long time. Oh, yeah, Daddy. too. Oh, yeah. Everybody, come here. We're here at Harvey Bay down at the Urangan Pier, I think that's how you say it. In my ear. One kilometre long pier. I think it's like one of the top five in Australia longest yeah. piers. So we're just leaving our caravan park. Well, it's not our caravan park. We don't know. Yeah, but the caravan park. We were in for one night at Harvey Bay. Um, we stayed in the big four at Vernon Point. Point Vernon. Point Vernon, and it wasn't the best. Like the best. It was okay, but um. Yeah, it, it was, was kind of just like a little hole in the wall kind of caravan park. Yeah. It had a lot of residents there and things like, like that. Permanent residents, so it was a lot of like older people, like lovely people, but just like you know, we like to go with like younger families and stuff. Like that. Yeah, um, it's more like a retirement village. Yeah, which is fine. But um, yeah, we're looking forward to the next I spot. What is? Where... Oh, last night. Talk about what happened last night when we got to the caravan park. Oh right, yeah. So drove three hours from Brisbane. Got ready to get in the caravan and get to bed. Yeah, and it was so hot too. It was so hot, like the humidity so up here is crazy. And um, plugged in the <clears throat> power to the caravan park and nothing. Like I could see the light on the extension cord. It was like lit up, so there was power from the box of the caravan park. But plugged it in and our fridge didn't turn on, aircon didn't turn on. So we had lights and stuff because it's through 12 volt. Um, anyway, so I was stressing out, running around the caravan, trying to figure out what was, checked every single fuse, checked every connection, everything was fine. Um, anyway, this one of the residents came past and started looking, came in the caravan, had a look and couldn't figure anything out. And then he came back with a like a short kind of extension cord and plugged that into our and I extension lead and it turned on. And I'm like, what's the difference here? Like they're both the same amperage, everything like that. He's had like a kind of tighter connection, tighter connection and it didn't have the waterproofing around it. Turns out that one of our prongs, like to the power point, was pushed back. So our power point wasn't connecting right, whereas his was. So I ended up unscrewing it, like turning all the power off, doing an electrician's job that I shouldn't have probably. Um, but I'm like, I need aircon. Yeah. Um, unscrewed it and pulled it out and yeah, just plugged it straight back in and, and we're good to go. So yeah. two hours in and that was a bit stressful. Yeah, but the start of the trip, but it's sorted now. Yeah, and it's like one of those life lessons that you learn. So yeah. it's good. And um, then this morning we went to the markets. Um, they were nice. That was down at, uh, I think it's called Urangan or something like that. Yeah, and you can, that's curious. Yeah, there's like a super long pier that goes for a kilometre. And we got donuts, they're really yummy. Donuts Ice coffee. coffee. Yeah. Nice. That's good. Um, yeah, now we're on our way to Agnes Water. And yeah. We're staying at the NRMA Beach Holiday Park there, I think it is. So yeah. um, our caravan spot is 80 metres from the beach, which would be great. Yeah, I can't wait to get in the water and go for a swim. Yes. Well, talking about that, like so I saw heaps of people talking about that they, there was stingers there or whatnot, but I don't know if there is. I'm hoping there's not. I think they're rare. Like they're rare. Just, yeah. yeah. Hopefully it's not rare fun. season. But we can take a chance anyway because it's too hot not to swim. So um, yeah, we're just on the way there now. We're about two and a half hours away. Get there just before lunchtime. So we just got 
got to Agnes Waters and had some lunch from their cafe. It was really good and I always just get the kids meals because like I never eat the big adult meals and it's just cheaper to get kids meals. And I got a kids wrap and it was so good and it was huge. Like, yeah, um, but yeah, it's really nice here. We're about to go in the water, just waiting on my husband to bring me back some wine so we can just relax and make the most of this beautiful day. Just cooking up some tidies here for the evening. We're gonna chuck on some barramundi and have a bit of salad. Here at the uh, Angus, is it Angus? Agnes? Agnes? Agnes Water in RMA Holiday Park. It's been a good day. Went through um, for a little walk down to the beach just before and did some uh, rock climbing, not the adrenaline type, but just over the over the rocks over to the other side where there was a bit of a secluded beach. Got some footage of that later on. But yeah, tonight we're just gonna have a little bit of a chill, have some food and have a couple of beers and yeah, then tomorrow we're gonna go explore 1770. Check in with you then. Today we are at the town of 1770 and we're currently walking up to the, the lookout. Apparently it's a very good view over, I think it's called something bay actually, I have to check on that one, I'm not sure what the name is. Um, but it's got like sandbars, um, an estuary system, it looks pretty awesome. So yeah, we're just walking to the lockout now to check it all out. distillery and we got the it's called sunset it has like ginger and citrus um, but yeah the man in there he was really lovely and he had probably maybe like six different type of liqueur fruit liqueurs and they're all really yummy so I definitely recommend um, going there if you have the time when you're here it's yeah definitely something you should do we're gonna we got ginger beers to put it with he said it mixes best with ginger beer so it'll be like a little cocktail and I'm just making up a little platter here. It's an absolute mess in here. Like that's the thing about being in small spaces. They get really messy really fast, but yeah, it's okay. We make two. Tonight we are having normal breakfast food, but for dinner. We have some bacon, just some eggs. Anyway, we had some spare stuff left over and we thought, why not? Let's just have this for dinner. Save that bank account. We all know how traveling Australia costs things, petrol, you know, activities, food, etc. So tonight we're gonna have the bacon and eggs for dinner instead of for breakfast.
like swimming beach you can go to. 